amigos de internet, welcome to Quests and Chaos Plays Betrayal Legacy. The box is down there, I'm not going to reach for it, you know what it looks like by now. This is episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, episode 8, chapter 7 of Quests and Chaos uh, Plays Betrayal Legacy. Uh, I'm playing with Thomas and Grant, James is back again, and Cy. Uh, this is February 1876. Uh, before we start, I want to make a note. At our last episode, we had some questions about how the other world's deck work, and we went to Board Game Geek, a great resource for uh, all things about board games, and the designer of the game, Rob Davio, has actually answered some questions about that. It turns out that when you play the other world's deck, the cards at the end of your turn get discarded, get buried in the order they were drawn. So in our last game, we had a lot of cards that were kind of cluttering up the other worlds, and those would have been moved out. Uh, so we've gotten that clarification. Thanks to those of you also who pointed that out on uh, YouTube or uh, in the comments. We really appreciate that. So. Uh, February 18th, 1776. Sai, who are you playing this time? I'm playing a 13-year-old named Greer. All right, and what house are you again? Oh, yeah, the Chrissa house. Uh, I am uh, Frankie with a K, or no, with a C. <laughs> but my last name is K, so it's Frankie K. Uh, I'm 42 years old, start of the gangsters, you know, Frankie with a C of the house of K. There we <laughs> I'm playing 22-year-old Jesse of the Byrne family. Yeah. <laughs> I am playing Caleb, 24 years old, of House Magnus. Wow. Caleb and I had similar hair problems at 24. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's not going to go well for you, Caleb. I'll just tell you that. Uh, from 40 years in the future, I can tell you. 20 years. I'm not that old. Uh, I'm playing... Um, Renee Smythe, and I'm 22 years old as well. And the reason we're saying our ages is we've had some haunts where age became uh, a thing. Last time, House K made it onto the deed of the house. So James, you get the deed of the house card, and don't forget, you can use that once during the game to move to any discovered tile in the house. Power. And you hold oh. <laughs> power. Oh, the power. And you'll also get the first turn. Ooh. But before we get to the first turn, we all have occupations. Yes, callings. We're right there. And we're never going to forget callings again. <laughs> I had one job and I failed my job. <laughs> this and this call. is why you get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> None of our calling is passing out callings. Oh, man. Thomas, how are you not the gambler this time? I am the savage. Hey. Uh, no problem is too difficult to solve through rage. I would like to rage. <laughs> when you make an unarmed might attack, you may lose one knowledge to roll two additional dice. Nice. That is not going to happen. Grant, what do we got? I got the med medical practitioner. Nice. Mm -hmm. You get used to hearing the scream. Place the healing token on the... Well, I was going to start saying that in an old-timey voice. Place the healing token on this card at the start of the game. Uh, when I want to operate, I remove the token and heal one trait of any player on the tile, including myself. Nice. <clears throat> that would have been useful last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I am a well-to-do, so Frankie got money. Uh, <laughs> this whole thing, I could easily get another. After you draw a card from the item deck, you may immediately bury it to gain two in any trait. Nice. I'm a 13-year-old hunter. Hit it before it hits me. You may use speed instead of might when making might attack rolls. The defender uses might as normal. Nice. And I am the occultist. I study that which I fear. And I can add one to the result of all my rolls uh, that I make on tiles with at least one ghost on them. And I just want to remind everybody again, we have the helm. Uh, the helm which is filling up. Uh, yikes. And again, every time we complete a column here, Something happens from the journal, and we learn a little bit more about the horrible Viking demon that we're all pretty sure is coming to get us. Uh, you can, once per game, you can put your house's sticker on here, and you get to re-roll all the dice that you had in there. Comes in handy. All right, let's see what's happening. The wedding has been canceled. The guests told. We recovered her body from the waters last night. Her room has been sealed till the constables arrive. Oh, we should find her veil. She'd have wanted that. Someone moved the stones and opened a crack into other worlds, each hideous and deadly. There's a dark place we cannot reach, and I am glad for it. 
for that is where he is. Yet I do not breathe easy, for he is almost strong enough to break the second lock. Should that happen, there is naught will stop him. Find and place... Oh, oh, Thomas, this is just for you. Find and place the creek adjacent to the front steps. Oh. Apparently she creek. drowned in the creek. Pond. How do you drown in a creek? Wow. Face down? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> uh, find and place the creek adjacent to the front steps, and that's where we all start. Creek. All right. So let's put all the all the no characters on there. Uh, we got a whoop, that purple one. Soup, soup. All right. The creek is a crowded place. It's the place to be. I'm a very short 22-year-old, just like I was in real life. <laughs> James, you get the first. You get the first card on the item deck. Oh, cool. It was hers. And you want to remember her. What did she give you? Perfect. We got Cassandra's <laughs> violin that I made my heirloom from Very Rusty. nice. Uh, find and set the blue bre the blue bedroom aside out of play. Hmm? Uh, the blue bedroom. Find the blue bedroom and set it aside out of play. Blue bedroom. And while you do that, Sai, if you'll punch out uh, those... We'll add those to the stack. Ah, uh, there we are. Where? Blue bedroom. Just put it. We'll put it aside here. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure it will not play a role in anything that's about to happen. By the way, neat little thing. You gain one sanity. Oh, when you carry yeah. this violin. So my, because it is an heirloom for me, uh, my sanity will go from my base of four up to another four. Nice. I just realized we probably didn't do that in the last game for you. Oh, true. <laughs> the last game didn't go well for us. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Bonnie's jerk of a grandfather. <laughs> uh, all right, we get some new item cards. Oh, I still need a healing token, too. Oh, yeah. If someone will dig that out. Thomas, give those a shuffle. We get some new event cards. And once again, the, the haunt will be triggered uh, with a roll of five or up. So it's a standard haunt. Or if we have an omen card and there are none left. Okay. Right. I think we're about ready to start. James, you start us off. Excellent. Um, with my speed of four, I shall go one. You know what? Let's go out. Oh, more outside. Okay. So take an outside tile. Which is the well house. We didn't get the hanging tree last game. Uh, the well... <laughs> Oh, no. A spirit in the well wants an offering. Bury an item to gain two sanity. Well, so first things first, you get an item card. Mm -hmm. The card always happens first. Cool. It is Emma's... Wait, uh... Yeah. yeah. Yep, That's outside. Cool. Emma's burial mask. It's sacred. It's horrifying. If you would take one die of damage, you may take zero damage instead of rolling. Yeah, you know, that's... That would have helped last time. You could have mm -hmm. flowed that to me. That's my, uh... Yeah, that's your uh, family. Yeah, I know. My that that belongs. Mm. It belongs in a museum. It belongs. In a museum. <laughs> uh, okay, and now uh, there. It didn't tell us to do anything with the big dog. So is the big dog still there? I we, yeah, it's still alive. All so right. Get... So the black hound is standing in that space with oh. you. Hello. What what kind of actions can you do with the dog? There are no actions with the dog. I'm guessing they just forgot to say put the dog away because by now the dog, it's been. Doing some quick math. 27 years. To be fair, so like, it's probably not the same the dog. dog is... To be fair, that cat lived a long it's time, true. too. It's true. Yeah. Well, nine lives. So you <laughs> you can... Um, yes. There's an action here. You can talk. A spirit in the well wants an offering. So you can bury an item to gain two sanity. Don't you don't no, don't you do yes, it. Yes, you should do that. Do don't you I do mean, it, do I'm kind of scarred from last... It's my mask! I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> My sticker is on it. There's a sticker on the inside that says oh. property of the Smythe family. Oh, property of the Smythe family. Oh, it's not yours. Get rid of it. Yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> if you take one damage, one die of damage, you may take zero it's damage two instead sanity. of rolling. Two. Two. Just take it. Yeah. Take it, take it, take it. Pew, pew. Take what is a violin? 
Excuse me, that's Cassandra's violin. It's violin with a K. <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> took that from my family. <laughs> so for my sanity will... You're getting two sanity. Yes, by bearing that item and mask of Emma. All right, Thomas, where are you going? You going to look for the hanging tree? Like tradition states? Why? <laughs> so there is a pathway this way, or that way. Or you Why are we outside? Um, this is where she was. we found her body. She was drowned. Uh, let's see, where is the card again? I read the... Oh, I already put it away. <laughs> so we're searching for the, her veil, right? Yeah, we want to find her veil. Um, we recovered her body from the waters last night. Her room's been sealed till the constables arrive. I'm guessing that's the blue bedroom. Uh, oh, we should find her veil. She'd have wanted that. And then there's a whole thing about someone moved the stones and opened a crack into the other world. That was groundskeeper Willie. Actually, and he I just realized it. something. With yeah. my well-to-do... I can still bury a card, but gain two in any trait. So instead of doing my sanity of moving up to, oh, why do actually move my speed up by two? All right. Yeah. Movement. I mean, hmm. but now you're going to get rid of the violin instead of my mask. Oh, no, the mask is still gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frankie, don't need it. <laughs> where are the items? Uh, there, there's like a shed. Well, I mean... In the in the well house. <laughs> let me go. Let me go into an inside room. All right. So one, two, three. Yep. Okay. Ground get floor. A ground floor. The ballroom. Oh, there is nothing but a ghost in there. Time to dance. Woo. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna use savage to attack the <laughs> ghost that's in there. You attack the piano. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Grant. Oh. Oh, you'll have a speed of three. No, but once you uh, once you once draw you encounter a room. Yeah. Oh, that ends right. your movement. Okay, sorry, I'm still trying to get used to the new rules. Is the tile <laughs> considered a card? Let me check movement here. Ring. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna move over one. Do Why do I keep getting the small obstacles? <laughs> you get a small obstacle and an, an omen. omen. Dun dun dun. What does that say? Muskeg? Muskeg. What is that? Who knows what the musk egg is? Have an omen card. The beginning of Elon Musk. <laughs> wow, I got the brooch of rage again. Nice. I've started my turn, gain additional moves equal to the number of ghosts on my tile. I must then take advantage of that and roll to see if I somehow get a five. <gasps> so close! Four more and we be dead. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, discovering a new tile ends. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think to that James. is James. Yep. Did you two go? You know what? I, I feel like we didn't. didn't. Did we? No. All right. <laughs> go ahead. We went me, then Thomas, <laughs> wow. then oh. Grant. I was going to pay attention. I'm so used to us being dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I'm dead. Sai, go ahead. Uh, I'll go in this direction. All right. So you get an outside tile. That's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh, bottom okay. this? Wow. We had a we had a, a, a we had a break in yeah. there where somebody it's called lunch. <laughs> somebody came to the door and. Okay, so this is an underground cavern. You may use a move to place your figure on the pawn tile if it has been discovered. All right, and that is an event, an outside event. Have an outside event. Thank you. The vermin. A rat has dug its teeth into your heel. Oh, my mm -hmm. poor rat baby. <laughs> 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 Roll one die for each checked box. Uh, all right. How many boxes? Oh, three. three. Chomp, chomp. That's a four. Ooh. The rat scampers away. Take one physical damage. There Lovely. you go. All right, my mite's going down by one. Then we'll do Ezra, then back to Sai? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, back to James. Because James didn't take his second turn. Okay, cool. And this gets buried, right? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Okay. Um, I don't want to be outside, so I'm going to go blam, 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 and I'll take a ground floor. Ground room. floor. Ugh. The master bedroom. Bink. All right, well, I get an omen. Uh, did you make a haunt roll when you got the... Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. He rolled a one, and not quite a five. Not quite a five. <laughs> it's unlikely, but... And I have the chalice of insanity. So the chalice of insanity... Simple, carved of dark wood, the cup of a carpenter. I can drink it, and I lose sanity, 
uh, and then I can roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on my tile and possibly gain some good stuff. The Chalice of Insanity kept you alive for like two more turns when we were no, all that dying. Was me. Oh, that, that was, was you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. had the apothecary. Oh, that's apothecary. right, the apothecary kit. Okay. So back, so now, <laughs> now that we've gotten roll. out of the way. You want to do a haunt roll? Sure. I can roll five or up on, oh! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's gone forever. Yeah. Does somebody have one of those like hand need... gripper things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gophers. Yeah. <laughs> the side off the edge of the table does not exist. All right. Somehow I didn't make Thought it. Thought it was gonna be mm. close. All right, James. Math. Back we, to your turn. We are now at the stage though that with the haunt could happen at haunt, any yes. minute. Yes. Which is why keep I'm running into omen. Getting <laughs> away from all of y'all. <laughs> uh, we'll go this way. Two, three. You have a different idea of getting Here's away. Here's an outside one. for you. Hanging tree. It is the caves. Oh, oh right wow. after the underground cavern. That is very appropriate. Um, yeah, and uh, so, uh, event, yeah. Yep, you yep. get an you event, event card. An outside event. Ooh, it's an only outside event. I wonder if there are any upper floor and outside events. Here we go. Oh, it's a coachman. A black funeral carriage awaits, fooled by a nightmare from hell itself. Size horses back. Sounds hey. sounds good. Yeah. The coachman beckons for you to climb in back. Each other player on a tile with at least one ghost takes one die of Ooh. mental oh. damage. See, this is where you die want... takes a die and Thomas takes a die. See, this is where if you had the yeah, uh, if you the had mask. my mask. Well, no, it's not him that's yeah. taking the well, damage. I know. It's me. I'm going down. Wait, one roll. Roll. You roll a die. Oh, never mind. Zero. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Worse. It's an average of one between us. <laughs> 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 All right, and then after he did that, that on his own. Uh, keep reading and make a sanity roll. Wow, if only he took the sanity instead. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Not the most sane choice. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, four. Four. You ride for a moment before you flee. Find the next. It's just like, I'm going to ride for half a second. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then Frankie's going to jump off and find the next outside tile, place it, and place your figure there. Well, there it is. It's so, right on top. So you get an outside tile. Where do I want to place it? Hmm. Please be Hollywood. Please be Hollywood. Please be Hollywood. <laughs> you can go here? Or... Frankie might go to Hollywood. That's oh, me. no. Here. <laughs> yeah, let's... Unless you want to adjust that cane. Thomas will no longer be joining us on the... Uh... Let's go to here. Oh, the stable. Oh, that's appropriate. Have an omen. Yeah. Oh, my God. We could, we could start the haunt right now. We could start the haunt Have right now. <clears throat> Crucifix of burnishing. It's one. sacred. Uh, and I can attack. Target anyone on your tile. Roll one additional tile. Die for each ghost on your tile. Yes. And roll three dice. Oh and uh, here's your coachman back. And three dice to not so start the haunt. Five and up. To not start the haunt. Okay, there we go. We're good. That was very dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jeez. All right, Sai. Hmm. <clears throat> you can go crawl. Strong baby can crawl. Oh, that's funny. It'll, it'll lead you into the basement. If you, you make a speed roll, and if you get three or up, you end up in the basement. Let's do that. All right. What's your Wait, speed? Wait, you also lose something. Though. Oh, never mind. Only if you roll poorly. Yeah. What's your speed? My speed is four. There you go. Thank you. All right, three and up. There it is. So find the next basement tile, place it, and place your figure. All right, she's on the landing. Oh, oh it's another Sir. omen. Where would you oh, like jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere. Have an omen card. Thank you. There's it's... a man there. We don't have any men. We have no inhabitants. Man, male inhabitants. The apothecary kit of healing. Nice. Ooh. So you can drink and uh, possibly gain stuff. Oh. Yes. Also, when uh, James. Oh yes. There. Inhabitant. Hmm. Oh yes. Clarissa is explaining it all in the stable. <laughs> You, you can talk her? to Clarissa, and she'll let you look at the top uh, tiles there. Here, I'll toss her down for you. Absinthe is lose two knowledge. Oh, nice. Well, you're, first you're going to make the haunt roll. You're rolling four dice. Nope. Ooh, Ooh. Okay, and now you can, on your turn, drink from that if you want. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so what, do you, what roll is it? 
Uh, based on ghosts, you do not have any. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, do you have any ghosts? I'll wait, I'll wait. No ghosts. Nope. Yeah. You want to go to the entrance hall for that, where Thomas dies every time. <laughs> <laughs> My goal is to die in every room in this place. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're well on your way. All right, um, I'm going to give me a ground floor. Ooh. Whoops. The, the dining, dining room. room. You know, call me anything but late. Hope there's donuts there. Uh, I get an <laughs> item. I get the winner's sickle. It's better than nothing. It is better than nothing. It's unwieldy, but razor sharp. It allows me to attack anyone on my tile. I roll two additional dice on my attack, and then I lose one speed. Oof. Ow. But if I kill somebody, I get to check a box, and then weird things can happen. Hmm. Ooh. And it's, uh, this is, uh, this is a Krissa family heirloom. Uh, that's All right. to you, Thomas. Um, to me. I think I'm just going to go one. Continue yeah. on. Yeah. Have a ground floor. It is the porch. Which is always somehow adjacent <laughs> to the entrance hall, to the out to the front steps. So it is adjacent to the front steps. And you get the It is also a secret passage. Ground floor event. Stacked furniture. The furniture in this room is stacked in the strangest of ways. The pile lurches towards you. Make a might roll. Watch out for that uh, that furniture on the porch. Well, that's not good. Two. Take one physical damage. Ouch. I am. Uh, I'm gonna lose a might. Down down to three. No gloating this time. <laughs> I almost put her right back on the same <laughs> Yep, that's off and back on. Everything's fine. Yep. Hmm. The accounting firm of Pooja, Pooja, and Pooja is yeah. taking <laughs> very careful watch of all of your uh, health. Right. <laughs> Please tell me their slogans, Pooja, real good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to go to the stable, then go to my right. All right, have an outside room. Oh, for crap's sake. Uh, <laughs> board, we, are, oh. we are getting haunt, hauntastic. Is, yeah, it is haunt-orific here. Uh, there's not that many omens left. There's a I'm lot of so omens. Sorry. Though. Well. Oh, yay, Corrupted Talisman. You're, 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 you're beautiful. Um, it's corrupted with the essence of a foul imp. It can sometimes do your bidding. I can move to any landing tile, then lose one speed, or target anyone in line of sight. Take damage if you lose, even if you even if you aren't on the same tile as your target. And you're rolling five dice for the hunt this time. I predict a six. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> witch! You're a witch! Yeah. <laughs> Do you float? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to pause. That was, uh, where was that triggered? Uh, the Arboreum. All right, we're going <clears throat> to 195 in the Bleak Journal. Well, wow, like this this is so... Yeah, this is not great. <laughs> the presence below the house has fed and fed, and yet somehow only grows more angry. His presence is everywhere, driving all mad. None can resist his call now. All of, Is this the prologue again? All of us have hatred in our hearts. Some can sense this and arrive to help, but can one person turn back the tide of evil? and what will happen when this force for good leaves. The Haunt Revealer gets this, the Wedding Veil, and you give it its true name, the charming Wedding Veil of Disease. Oh, come oh. on. And you are now carrying the diseased Wedding Veil. Oh, I'm getting out of there. Burn it. Maybe, maybe that's why she drowned herself. Man, I think I'm a medical practitioner. All right. <laughs> we are consulting the helm. So draw out in, uh, draw out one of the uh, uh, rune. rune tiles. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so anticlimactic. Whoa! Oh my God. Hey, it's Why the same do you one. keep stop that? <laughs> so it is the axe. Oh, that is me, because I'm the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever is judged gains one might and loses one sanity. We, you should have re-rolled the haunt roll. Yeah, I could have done that, but this is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are so dead. <laughs> Each player on the same branch, there are none, loses one sanity. There is no traitor in this haunt. We're just such what? a friendly bunch. All players 
should now turn <laughs> to we do not 41, bigger on the inside. TARDIS. Not this house. It's way smaller on oh, the inside. You explain the porch then. <laughs> All right, bigger on the inside. The wedding veil is warm to the touch. It burns like a person with a great fever. Oh, There's a pestilence inside the lace. We feel our blood begin to warm and a great thirst comes upon us. We are effect infected and a doctor strides onto the patio from the blue bedroom where they where they where they were were they always connected like that? Frazzled but confident. Listen, she says in her charming accent, there's a way to help, but we have to work quickly. We realize she's not speaking to us, but to a companion she's brought with her. We're going to be fighting. We're all the bad guys and fighting the good guys. So set up. Find the blue bedroom and put it to the side of the house, disconnected from all other regions. If the blue bedroom has already been discovered, remove it. You didn't read the instructions. Remove it from the <laughs> upper floor region and set it up. Not, uh, not like that would ever happen to us. Uh, and set it aside as above. Bury any tiles in the upper floor region that can no longer be reached from the upper landing. If any players are on tiles unburied on the way they go in the blue bedroom. Place the blood token on two on the numbered track. It'll be in the one with all the random stuff in it. Yeah, that looks like blood. So place it on the two on the numbered track. Lovely. Yeah. Put the monster card on the table to the left of the haunt revealer, so to Grant's left. The player, so James, you'll take the first turn. Mm -hmm. So. We will win when we help the doctor discover a cure. Yeah. We may treat the disease by searching the blue bedroom. We may find something old, something new, something borrowed, and stop me if you know where this is going, something blue. We may discover a cure with the doctor. Facts, the blue bedroom region. So this is another floor, essentially. The blue bedroom and all tiles connected to it are considered to be a separate region of the house. The blue bedroom tile counts as a landing tile for the rest of the haunt. The blue bedroom is adjacent to all other landing tiles. I'm guessing they don't mean the front steps, but I guess... Sure, what about it's adjacent to all yeah. landing tiles. You may discover tiles in the blue bedroom region just like any other region. When you discover a tile there, draw the top tile of the stack regardless of its marking. Hmm. The blue bedroom region is a weird place. Mm -hmm. If the tile requires you to draw an item or omen card, draw the top card of the appropriate deck regardless of region. If a tile, tile requires you to draw an event card, draw an item instead. Hmm. Hmm. So our goal, our main goal, is to find something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Collect the following items to help the doctor discover a cure. Something old is the crossbow or book of scripture. Both something my or. family heirlooms. <laughs> wow. Well, you're an old family. Yes. Uh, <laughs> or something new, the bloodletting fleam or the elephant gun. Something borrowed, the head in the jar or the burial mask. <laughs> <laughs> something blue, the violin or the harpoon. They, <laughs> then it says in italics, they aren't really blue, but I had to finish the rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can discover a cure. A little bit. <laughs> so this is a little inside joke from Rob Daviau. Under discover a cure, the flavor text is, ah, yes, what did I ask for? Five cards of the same color? No, different time stream. Give me those. That'll do. Little, little uh, pandemic joke mm -hmm. for those of you scoring at home. Uh, so prepare. While you're in the blue bedroom with the needed items also on the tile, your contribution... So we win by having all of those things in the blue bedroom and somebody discovers a cure. Someone uses an action to discover a cure. Mm. All of them? Or all of them. Four. 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 Well, one of each. An okay. old, a new, a borrowed, a blue. All right. We can also treat the disease while on an event tile in the blue bedroom region that you discovered this turn. Make a knowledge roll. On a four or up, move the blood token down one space on the track. Wait, on a, when, when can we do that? When we, uh, in the blue bedroom region when we find an event tile. So the blue bedroom itself, for instance, mm -hmm. you could do that. If you roll a zero through three, place your figure on any landing other than the blue bedroom. You were caught in the time stream. Wow. All right, this is interesting. Oh, on the monster's turn. 
All players take general damage equal to the number on the blood track. And the blood track moves up one space. Ooh. Wow. It's like a... We're caught... We're speaking of being caught in a time loop. This is like last episode all over again. And for those so, of you just scoring, just joining us, that didn't end well. So we only need to get three items. Mm -hmm. Four. Well, we got we one. We have one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we only need three more items. Yeah. And there's five of us. So we, do, we don't need the harpoon anymore. <laughs> We need <laughs> we need a head in a jar, or a burial mask, which we probably won't be grabbing. <laughs> a bloodletting fleam or an elephant gun, and we need a crossbow or a book of scripture. So we need to start finding items. Cool. cool. Where are all the items? I wish well, they had memorized this deck. Now, don't forget also the blue bedroom region. Any event tiles you draw count as item tiles. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really glad I got that corrupted talisman. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, because one of the things, I sacrifice the speed, I move to any landing tile. That's pretty sweet. But any of the landing tiles immediately link up to the blue room. Yeah, the blue bedroom yeah. is a... Well, but he can go to a landing tile really mm. quick that way, yeah. so then he can zip in there. James, you'll take the first cool. turn. All right. So we need to find items. That is our Let's goal. Let's get here. to it. One, two, three, and then with the blue bedroom, Boom. four. Yeah. Did you count the small obstacle? Oh, oh that's right. There is a small Four or five. Obstacle. Okay, so you end in the blue bedroom. Cool. All right. Now, do you want to use any items or anything? Um, can I? Or no, I think they're, they're all attacks, right? Yeah, that so one's an don't. attack. Can you drop an item? Oh, I could bury it and Wait, get you know to any. You <laughs> could drop the violin in this oh, room yeah. so that it's always there. I think you're still stuck in the entrance hall. Or wait, no, you can go to the landing from any yeah, landing. Yeah, side, right? yeah. Okay, cool. So just we can let, we'll just put the violin by there, and you drop cool. the violin. You want to grab an item pile? Yeah. Nope. Just because we're gonna, or we can just put it here. Yeah, that's we're fine. gonna be. Uh, yeah, I think that's great. We'll that just does, put it there. That means your sanity goes down, though. Oh, does my sanity go down from that? Yeah, yeah. it's only as long as you have it. Okay, cool. All right, Sai. Mm. You're the only one in the basement. Oh, I, I so haven't we, gone in like forever. Well, you got skipped because he. Once no, the Grant haunt started. Started Grant? Grant started the haunt. But I didn't go. I should have went before Grant. I think you did. Yeah, you went to the porch. Yeah, I think you're good. I think we're good. That, I went to the porch. My. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh wait. So when I'm, or so when I discover an event in the blue bedroom region, I can make a knowledge roll, or do I have to be in the blue bedroom? Any, any, any event space in the blue bedroom region. Okay. So could I make the knowledge roll for that? Well, it's only when all the items are there. Oh, you. But you want but to try the 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 treat the disease. Yeah. While on an event tile in the blue bedroom region that you discovered this turn. Okay. Mm. It's cool. like they knew. It's well, like, did we? Well, it would have been his turn technically, right? That yeah, the blue bedroom okay. revealed. You know, you did not discover the blue okay. bedroom. Okay, copy that. All right, sorry. The event card doesn't apply to you. No. Okay. Uh, I'll go left, I guess. All right, so she needs a basement room. Which way? This way yeah. or this way? Whichever. <laughs> Which way is left to you? That way, towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right. a basement room. Basement, the, hey, chasm. Oh, oh, the chasm. I like how you had her walk across the chasm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bridge is superfluous. Would you like to go to the other worlds? I hear they're lovely this time. I hear there's no reason to in this game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> That's where he is. Uh, okay, uh, that, that'll do it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go, I'll keep going that way so I get a ground floor. Ground floor. Oh, he collapsed vault. room. Oh, double poop. When you discover this jar, <laughs> place a large <laughs> obstacle token on any discovered basement tile. And place <laughs> your figure on it. Oh, I fell into the basement. Yes. Yep. Um, so do you you like get, it? Does it say draw the next basement oh, no. tile? Or does it, no, it says any discovered. Oh, no. Yeah. So that's well, going to go. I'll, I'll fall into the servants' quarters. Kaboosh, and you take two physical damage. And Ouch. also, I believe one mental die because of that was the that was the le oh because the hound is still around. You're right. I'm gonna take a die of mental damage because the hound is still around. Does it apply because but because you Any left time it? when you discover a new tile with the animal uh. symbol. Oh, that hurts so. This my, game is not going well. My you could reroll. <laughs> you could or save it for the. You could. I, I'm gonna save my reroll for. I'm not the gambler, so I can't. Oh wait, on any turn you may add. Nope, that's trait rolls, rats. Um, I'm gonna lose one knowledge, which will knock me down to four, and one sanity, which puts me into the red at three. Ouch. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move one, two, three to the blue room. Okay. Four. All right, so you just draw the top one. Top one. 
It's the crypt and it's an omen. All right, so if you draw an omen there. Shoot, that also closes off this direction. We might like. If the oh. tile requires you to draw an item or omen card, draw the top card. So, yep. Well, Bam. oh, okay. It is a playful porcelain doll. Uh, all eyes. The eyes are oddly soft. On your turn, the porcelain doll counts as a ghost on your tile. That's there are nice. four ghosts on that tile. Yeah, really. The crypt is... If only I had this. something to use them with. <laughs> um, wow, crap. You know, if we if we draw another <laughs> tile that you can't get out of, yeah, yeah the, that's the, gonna the, suck. The, the blue bedroom region will not be a fun place. Grant, where are you headed? I'm gonna sacrifice that one speed to go to the blue bedroom. All right, zoom. And I will go to next to that other room. All right, so draw the top tile. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, why is it always the soundproof room for me? <laughs> this game knows me too well. <laughs> and oh. I take a die of mental damage. Yeah, the omen. Before the omen. Before or after? Before. <laughs> because yeah, it's like it's... the paw and then the omen, so paw first. Only the guy in the room has to whisper. Over. It's very infectious, though. I don't do damage. Hi, <laughs> welcome to Quest and Chaos. And my, sanity, are... my sanity goes from four to three. And I have a head mirror of corruption. It's All right. Way. And that is our last omen. Okay. Come on. All right. This, this is ridiculous. Is, uh, so... And now the disease happens. That is the end of Grant's mm. turn. So two or One. roll? Uh, it goes, we take two points of general damage and the blood map counter moves up one. Wow, so let's start with uh, let's start with James. What damage? Uh, I'm going to move my doubled up speed and move it back down to its original four. Jerk. Sai? It's one, right? Two points. Two. I'm taking two might. Uh, I'm taking one speed and one might, and I am so near death. <laughs> oh, I'm in the red. You know, there are donuts in the other room. If I die, I'm just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take one sanity and one knowledge. Well, no, no, no. So the rolls we need for this are... I'm going to take a speed. Knowledge. Actually, there are no rolls. Well, the study is the knowledge roll, yeah, to treat the disease. Mm -hmm. And we should think about if we can find an event tile up there that would be great, because then we can move the blood token down. Yeah. So, I took one sanity, one speed. Okay. Cool. I mean, you know, the weird thing, it actually behooves us, the blue bedroom might be the best, the blue bedroom region might be the best region for us, because yeah. e almost everything's an event, an, an oh, item card, yeah. and we need items. Yep. Yeah. I need my crossbow. Yep. All right. Oh, and I move my might from four to three. All right. I hate that room. <laughs> <laughs> James. I'm going into the soundproofed room, and then we're going to move down this way. Okay. I was wondering at what you point get, he stopped whispering. You get, you get the top one? <laughs> the top regardless. Room. Yep, regardless. It's a crossroads, oh, so... Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to whisper anymore, you lucky bastard. Yeah. But it's addicting. <laughs> All right, sigh. You know what? All the fun is happening there. I'll try to get. So us. unfortunately, that large obstacle counts as three, two, 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 two. extra. So it's yeah, so like it's three, three total. to get three. out. I'll be in the basement landing, and then I can go into the blue bedroom, and I'll end there. One, two, two, two three. three, four. Yeah, that's four. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I only have a three speed, so I can just leave the servants' quarters. So I'm going to leave the servants' quarters, and that's what I'm going to do this turn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is a great start. Yeah. Yeah. I have a speed Sorry. of three now. One, <laughs> two. How you doing? <laughs> three. Man, are we all just going to die by disease today? <laughs> We're all going to die. The by disease. hanging tree. Oh, it's hey, your old friend. Bud, yeah. Now, interestingly and sadly, we have no more omen cards. I'm going to go this way with it just in case. All right. <laughs> So we have no more omen cards, so nothing happens. Oh, come on. This sucks. There's there's nothing in the rules that say if the tire requires you to draw if the tire requires you to draw an item or omen card, draw the top card of the appropriate deck, regardless of region markings, but it requires you to draw an event card, draw an item card instead. So mm. Well balls. All right. Moving. Grant? 
I'm gonna go. Finally over. get out of that soundproof room and yeah. go up from the. And now I'll go there. Ah, uh, oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, it's an event. Yes, that is an event space. However, so this is the graveyard. Take one die of mental damage if you end your turn here. Yep, which you are going Wait, to do, but no, first... No, 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 no. Okay, first you get an item, and you get the top item regardless of whatever happens. So you get a flintlock pistol. No, oh, that is not old. flintlock. Is that one of the things that we were looking no. for? No. That is not one of the items, sadly. Oh, crud. Um, in that and case... And now... Oh, I'm, uh, not I'm not done yet. Well, so I'm going to make an argument for you staying there, and that is the treat the disease thing. Because if you make a knowledge roll four up, the blood token moves back one, and True. that won't end your turn. Yeah, I also and I the thing is that sucks. I only have three knowledge. Well, I mean it's a free roll. Yeah, and I can. There's no there's no disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, oh five. there you go. Nice. All right, so the blood counter moves down one. And I'm going to. I have a neat little thing called where the wedding veil of disease. Let's be do something called where. Where I move my figure as many tiles as the number of ghosts on the tile when you take this action. Oh, nice. So you have two. So you're moving back to the soundproof so, room? Uh, <laughs> I'm you just going to go back to the crossroads. I think he could encounter a new tile because of that. I can't. I'm oh. not allowed to discover new oh, tiles. Oh, there you go. Okay, so just he, he doesn't want to whisper anymore. <laughs> yeah, screw that place. Yeah. You have four omen cards? Yes! <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> um, and I'm, most of them are useless for me. All right, bad news, disease, good news. Grant just knocked it down one, so we take two points of damage. All right, I'll start with, uh, start with James. James. Okay, cool. Um, I have... I'm going to move my might down by... Let's do two. So uh, from its healthy of three down to the red of two. Sai? I went down one sanity to three, and then one speed down to three. I go down one speed to three... And then what do I want to put in the red? I have one round left after this. Uh, I'm going to put my might down to three in the red. And I'm going to take two might, so my three is critical. James, you can heal, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, oh. heal one of us. <laughs> uh, you have to be in the same tile as me, and oh. not to sound like a dick, but I <laughs> might be a bit selfish here. <laughs> all right, James, it's all you. Okay, I will go... Here. All right, you get that top tile. Come on. It is the yes! dark oh. altar. Oh wow. Um. So a, it's a, an event. So you get an item. Cool. When you leave this tile, you may place your figure on any upper or ground floor tile that has at least two ghosts on it. Wow. You may. May yeah. That is not. I don't believe that's one of the items. What is that? The weather. Weather beaten map. Yeah, that's not one of the items. We're Son of a gun. This is your family's area. And when discovering a new tile, or field, the first two tiles. Are choose read, go ahead and read it out loud. Oh, uh, so for the weather beaten map, it's just gain one speed while you carry the weather beaten map. Nice. What so. happens when it's an heirloom? When it's an heirloom, if this is your family's heirloom, when discovering a new tile, reveal the first two tiles that match a region. Ooh. Choose one of them and put into play and bury the other. That might be useful right I, now. That will be very useful in the All right. future. I'm thinking you want to heirloom that? Yes. All right. No, you don't. You want to slide it over. <laughs> Have a map. You can only heirloom one item each game. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I'll think about a name for you in a second. All right. And I will say it out loud when that time comes. Don't make um, a mistake. I did. <laughs> um, and so I will make my knowledge roll. All right. How many dice do you need? Five. <clears throat> be nice. To lower that disease. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, so it goes down again. Since I doubled it, can I, like, get two down? <laughs> Sadly, that is not. Is it just four or more? Four up. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, okay. that's my turn. Um, so what, it was at three before, right? It yeah, and then you lowered it you down. You lowered it to two. Then once it happened, it's supposed to go back up, right? Well, right. it had gone up to three. Okay, so now it's at two. Yeah, it's at okay. two. Okay. We need multiple people to knock that down to zero. I just realized this is a whole Doctor Who thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the doctor, the female doctor, the, I'm, I'm slow yeah, is what we're learning here. Yeah, it's bigger on the inside. Yeah. All right, okay. uh, Sai. Uh, landing into the blue room and then the crypt. The, uh, she wants the ghosts. The crypt, yeah, I want the ghost because I'm going to do the okay. apothecary. Apothecary. Um, three ghosts. Oh, oh, yeah. No! Oh, re-roll! Re-roll! Yes, re-roll. Re All right. 
Uh, put, you know what? As much as I want to do this, you should complete a row. Because you might get a stat boost. No! Wait, we're... <sighs> God, we're right, people, right now, there's no traitor. Why not? You people why and you're not? summoning undead Vikings. So I put it on the V. All on right, the v 138. Or the sideways oh part of a K if you're <laughs> or a Z. Or the sure. sideways part of a C. <laughs> he's letter blind. As we... <laughs> Tyr volunteered to be the one to chain him. Fenrir fought, knowing that this end was upon him. The wolf lashed out, and Tyr lost his axe hand to the fury. Fenrir cursed Tyr saying that Tyr would not die until Fenrir himself died. Tyr laughed and said he'd be waiting if the wolf ever got free. We placed Tyr's axe hand in a sacred coffer to honor his sacrifice. Gain four speed. Ho! Oh! Ho! That's gonna help, uh... I'm at six speed! <laughs> That's gonna give you a couple rounds to live and we might and win. No. Also, that means you have more movements you can use this turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right. You yes, because you, yeah. So what? What you had moved four, so right? So one. Were you no, here, it was so. one, two, mm -hmm. three. No, mm -hmm. uh, she was already, she was already here. here. So it's two. She's used yeah, so far. Okay. Yeah. So you can so move four, four more. more. You can discover a tile over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Outside. Outside. It is the blood field. <laughs> Another <laughs> event. So you get the top item card. Thank Lamp. you. Oh man, I silver marrow spoon. I should have heirloomed that when I had the chance. <laughs> Eat while on tile yeah. with the corpse. Bury this card and heal one trade. What's the heirloom do? The heirloom. If this is your family's heirloom, when you eat with the silver marrow spoon, you also gain one in a trait you just healed. So anytime you eat anything, not just corpses. Otherwise, you're eating corpses. Um, you could make a knowledge roll to lower the disease, lower the blood yeah. to to one. Okay. Uh, oh. But my knowledge is two. Well, that's going to be quite a roll then. <laughs> that's not going to get it done. Luckily, nothing bad. Oh, so place your Oh, figure... you die. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention, <laughs> uh, place your figure on any landing other than the blue bedroom. So you just go whoop. Uh, basement. She wants to be near the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts are friendly. Uh, yeah. They are. All right, well, I'm going to go to the soundproof room. I'm going to... Go to the basement landing. So uh, my movement, sadly, is well. So it's still one, four. one, uh, two, three, four. I'll, I'll. Can I explore? I think that's the only. The hanging tree is the only way I can find a tile. Yep. So I'll go there. Uh, speed of three. Four. Oh, speed of three. I'm looking at my knowledge. Yeah. Ooh. Um. So one. I don't want to be in any of these rooms. Um. Crossroads gets you to lot. Yeah, more. I'll be the crossroads. Do I want to? No, I do not want to. Okay, Thomas. I'm just, I'm gonna explore the All next right. one. Can we uh, scoot that stuff? Ha ha! The chapel. Nice. Um, a it is a uh, an event, so you get the top item. Yeah. Come on, it's Dario's crossbow. That's number that two. Is something old. So that is something. That's number two. Um, so that's one, but I, what is it? So invoke? Yeah. So invoke, uh, you may make a sanity roll. Um, three plus, you were already at peace, lose all moves. One or two, gain one sanity. Zero, your legs cramp, lose a speed. Well, I like your odds. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So do I want to re-roll that? No. <laughs> you can still do the knowledge roll. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowledge yeah, roll. Yes, yeah. yes, please. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe re-roll this one. This is the one you might... Oh, you don't need to. Boom. Seven. So this right, goes down, down to one. one. Cool. All right. It's my turn then. Yeah. And I will go past the graveyard. Oh, come on! <laughs> to the library. <laughs> library is one of those... So it's an omen card, so nothing happens. And it's a knowledge roll to gain one knowledge if you roll a one or a two. Well, let's see how that goes. One. That is plus one knowledge. Yeah. Very nice. Good, because I'm about to lose it. <laughs> well, yeah. Or something. So now we all lose one point. Mm -hmm. uh, I will move my speed of five down to my speed of four. All right, Sai. Moving my speed of six to five, because the rest is in red. I'm moving my speed of three down to the red three. I am moving my sanity of four to critical four. I am near death. I have one. And oh, blood track moves up to two, yes? And this moves I... up to two. 
Grant, what are you losing? I'm moving my speed of four to critical four. Oof. I have three criticals. Yeah. I should really heal and remember to do that next yes. time. Yeah, I have three criticals as well. It's not good. All right, and I finally came up with a name for the weather beaten map. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more creative than that. Jim with a K. Oh, ouch. It's going to be the paper. Weather <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> It's better than the vinyl flip out ones. <laughs> Can never get them back. It's, yeah. oh, it's terrible. All right. Well, All right. And let's go exploring this way. And you get a tile that is the Furnace Room! Yay! Oh look, you're gonna take a point of damage. But on the plus side, you're gonna get an is item. Is it a roll or a...? Nope, it's nope. just take one. Take one die. So you get an item. Well, Hold on, let's do that at the end of the turn. Yeah, first you get an item. That's a pitchfork! <sighs> oh, it's my pitchfork. <laughs> well, I, I kind of wish that I would have heirloom that. Yeah, the pitchfork's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, I got this. Uh, with the pitchfork, the prawn is a... Prawn, prawns. Prawns. It's got the shrimp. What? <laughs> The prawns have been sharp in the fine points. Attack, talk edit one on your tile. Roll two additional dice on your attack if you are outside. If you kill your target, check a box. When all boxes are checked, look at entry 159 after you kill people once with your, a pitchfork. Once your pitchfork is drenched in blood. Yes, and I cannot take this as an heirloom because I have my paper weather beaten map. And, also and it's already it. been claimed. And been claimed. Uh, so go ahead, now you take <laughs> one die of physical damage. Huh? Oh, balls. <laughs> Reroll. Well, uh, this is how undead Vikings come into being. <laughs> I'm going to reroll. No, oh, man alive. Uh, let's, uh, Where let's. Would you like to put. Well, I can't do my K anymore. See. Um, let's do. Uh... Go in the V row so I'm not the only one that, like. Oh, you mean the hammer? <laughs> so don't do that. Let's or do that. a D. <laughs> yeah, all right. Mike. Let's go D. Hard. Cool. These are awesome. Uh, so re-roll that, hopefully. <laughs> well then. Don't forget about your well-to-do thing. Karma for taking my house. <laughs> oh, well, after... Oh, wait. After you draw a card from the yeah. item deck. So technically, I don't need this. Yeah, the pitchfork could be discarded. <laughs> All right, you're going to bury the pitchfork. So that's going to go... Uh, we're going to move speed up by one and then might up by one. So he's gaining two because of his well-to-do. And then we're going to drop down because of that physical die, right? Right. Two. Two. So the damage... Um, <laughs> two on so from, speed. Yes, two on speed. So speed is now from five. Two, and is your well-to-do once per game? Uh, it does not say per Okay, game. so you can keep using it. Yes. That. Nice. Cool. Cool. And then a knowledge roll for... Oh yeah, reducing the disease. Yes. Please work. Yeah. Oh, that's how I survive. If we get this thing down to zero, Boom. nice. Then we don't take any damage. Yes. That's Probably how math not. works. <laughs> I was just realized you could have actually picked two tiles. Remember? Oh. oh yeah, you got your cool map. Well, now I remember. Yeah. The joys of cards with tons of little things. <laughs> I have to remember all of this. Sai, what do you got? Oh, uh, closest to more exploring, I guess. All right, what's your speed? Oh, God, your speed is it's five. It's five. So one, one two, three, three, four, and five. five, yeah. This will be the biggest house we've ever had, I think. All right, it is the operating theater. Well, that oh, seems blah, blah. fine. There is an item. All right, so you get an item. <laughs> and now, I think when it says when you get an item, you get the proper one. Let's see here. Tower of cards, you draw the, nope, draw the top card of the deck. So... You get an item. Paws claw hammer. <laughs> not one of the items we I want. don't need these. <laughs> there is no fighting. Here come all the weapons. We're going to yeah. start fighting each other just to... <laughs> uh, I hate okay. to say it, but right. I gain stuff if I kill somebody with this sickle. I'm just going to, you know... You do. I got a pistol to shoot you with. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, can you make a roll, or is that so only on events? Is, only on event spaces. But what does it say on there? Yeah, uh, what, operate. Choose a different person on the tile. Make a knowledge roll. Uh, zero to three, they take two physical damage. <laughs> There's a lot of blood on this tile. Uh, four to it. six, they heal one trait. Uh, seven plus, they heal all traits. Hachi, Machi, what's your knowledge? Oh, God, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I think this not, goes here. Do not let Strong Baby operate on you. Yeah. No. No. I'll fight, but that's it. Do not accept a tracheotomy from Strong Baby. 
Oh, the tacks all work fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this blue room area. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I have a speed of three, so I'm going to come here. One, two. I it's get an the item. Cistern. We need now we need to find the brethren. It's a religious joke for you. Spectacles. Seeing the forbidden comes at a cost. I may lose one sanity to re-roll a knowledge roll I just made. I believe I've had the chance to heirloom these yes, before, you have. and I did not, so I cannot cannot heirloom them. <sighs> oh, you haven't done it before. Oh, yeah. wow. And, and you have to heirloom that. it when you draw it. That's your only chance. So we still only have two of the items. That is correct. And we need four minimum? That is correct. All right, well. And we're uh, about to take a point of damage, which will put me all in the red. I'm going to explore. Grant as well. Come on, event. It's an event. All right. Oh, so you get an item. It is a the laboratory. laboratory. Have a it's feather. A... Ah, the item is the feather, sacred. Not from any bird that lives <clears> in this area. You may bury this card to bury any just drawn event card without taking effect. You may do this after any roll is made before we, applying the results. We don't have event cards anymore. We only have item cards. Yes. Uh, Would you like to make a knowledge roll? Too? Hold on. If I heirloom this, uh, when you bury an event with the feather, gain one knowledge. It seems kind of... I don't know. I'm going to... We're, we're well into this game. I'm going to... Yeah. All right. I'm going to heirloom, heirloom that. One feather. knowledge will be useful in this case. Yeah. Nah. That's oh. not the right one. Oh, I thought, doggone it. You have the helm next to you. I those do. shields go on the helm. <laughs> That's where all the stickers have been going. Because those are all armor, helm, shields. Oh, wow. Well, this is a shield. Yeah, it's, I consider this a, <laughs> like a potion. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. I like it. Um, Make okay. that knowledge roll. Knowledge of four. Please, please, please. Then you save your reroll just in case. I am going to re-roll. <laughs> See, that's why I pulled the sticker off. And I am going to, I am going to complete. You're going to complete the D, the backwards D. Blam. Entry 56. Okay, let me uh, re-roll before that happens. Sure. Oh, <laughs> balls. Worse. <laughs> it's worse. Well, to a landing of your choosing. Well, actually, wait. If you got a stat boost that affected that. Well, that's true. That's true. So we'll... it would not have affected this. Oh, so what was so you the entry? go to any landing? Actually, it's kind of good. It puts me closer to the uh, blue room, <laughs> <laughs> so I can drop my stuff. The stones have been laid above the world tree. The Godar marked them with runes, warning all to leave them be, lest he awaken. Somebody should have told groundskeeper. Women. Sanity, sanity, sanity. A few of us still believe in him. My wife and I bled into a chalice, then she drank from it, and then we buried it. This offering should keep him alive while he is chained and serve as a key between our world to his. My wife will start a sacred order to find a way to bring him back. The blood of our ritual will give her powers. I will likely hang for my crimes. If it saves him, our sacrifices will be worth it. Gain four sanity. Hmm. One, two, three, four. That puts me up to six sanity. This, um, this is bad. We're going to unleash an undead Viking see. on the world. And That's I can... I'll kill it. <laughs> oh, nobody's in my region. Nobody's adjacent to me. I could attack them. <laughs> well, darn. Yeah. Oh, darn, it. I, darn it. Great. Okay, first off, I'm yeah, going to operate healing. on myself <laughs> and bump my might from two to four. Nice. It make more sense to do so speed. So that healing token comes off now. Yeah. Ooh. Although it technically make more sense to do speed, that's technically one more hit point I can spare. There you go. Um, so I'm going to go into that next room over there. All right, what do we got? Oh, crap. It's an omen. The nursery. Yay! Oh. Um. Nothing happens, sadly. Uh, okay. There's an inhabitant. I mean, shouldn't the inhabitant... Oh, yeah, Clarissa. Be, Clarissa should be here. Yeah. Well, she's over there in the stable. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's okay, yeah. You know what? Um, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to use my uh, wedding veil of disease to move me back to that room and make a knowledge roll. All right. Because I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that ain't going to give me a boost. That will end your turn, yes. End your movement. Yeah. Any other actions you want to take? Uh. No, I think I'm good. All right. I, uh, I'll start out the damage from Act the disease. Actually, I... Okay. Who has the heal someone else? Uh, he used it. 
Oh no, that yeah, no, no, that's yeah. Yeah, but no. two knowledge. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to use this hand mirror of corruption because nothing's going to happen. So. <laughs> All right. Those seem like famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> what? Worst comes to worst, I drop the mirror or just see reflections. Three. Four. Three. Drop the hand mirror on your Nine. tile and place your figure on any discovered tile. There you go. You can go back to the blue bedroom. Or I could go to another room that has a stat boost thing. <laughs> That's true. Just make sure it's you can't do the same action twice. So what was the mirror action? You've done a wear and you've done a so there's a study. That's he an did invoke. That. Yeah. So you could do the invoke. Yep. So the mirror is now sitting right there. Let's make a sanity roll. Wait, what's my saying? <laughs> Ooh. Uh how many do you get? It's actually good, better to yeah, have you, one or two. Having a low sanity is good. Here's the thing, though. If I mess up, yeah. Yeah, I dang. lose one speed, in which case I die. Oh. Unless I do a reroll. Maybe oh, yeah. you don't want to invoke. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to stay where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick the mirror back up in that case. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> don't like that mirror. All right, I'll start the damage off. I'll take one point from the disease to my knowledge, which puts me in the red on everything. All right. I will take one point of sanity, which gives me still five. Yeah. <laughs> one I, point? I will take one point of might, which knocks me down from four to three. I'll do one point of sanity, go from four to three. Sorry. One point of speed from mm -hmm. five to five. God, I hate all you. Uh, <laughs> and move the blood token up one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. James. Um, well, let's move to that last final corner there. Um, we'll just remember, you get to. That. Oh yeah, and I get to choose my tile <laughs> out of the two up top. All right. So with my paper weather beaten map, since it is my heirloom, I get to look at the top two and choose. Draw the top <laughs> item card until you can. Choose the event if there is one. But that will get you mental damage. Yeah, because of doggy. Uh, let's put you. Do you put it back or do you no, bury it? Uh, bury it. There. And the organ room, unfortunately, does not lead into the operating theater. You're probably better off not. And we're going to go here. You get an item. Item. And you can make a knowledge roll. You get bells. Bells. Ooh. Gain one sanity. Then move everyone one tile, ignoring obstacles. Then bury this card. Oh, Ooh, when you chime. Yes. Yeah, when you chime. Oh, when I chime. Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, Erlen? He I already got my. Mm. Yep. Oh, that's. A, oh. Oh. All right. right. I got my me. map. That's pretty cool. Can you use that though? Uh, can I use it? You could chime it. Yeah, you could go. What is the roll? Um, nothing. You just gain one sanity, then uh, move everyone one tile. There you go. So yes, you could. Yeah. Let's um, use it. Do, I, uh, should you do your knowledge roll first? <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do that first. Knowledge five. Let's get you out of here. Reroll? I can't. He has oh. used his reroll. Bow. So, what happens with the two? He goes, oh. any landing of his choice? Yeah, landing of my choice. Which side? Come by me. <clears throat> So, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's connected. Yeah, any landing is connected. He's going to kill you. He's, you don't should go. come by me. He's the traitor. There's no traitor. Actually, I'm going to go here because that secret passage just opened up. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So you Wait. can go zoom, zoom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the front porch, which is also a landing, mm -hmm. that is directly connected to the porch. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you go here... These are always adjacent. Oh, to. okay. Yeah, let's go to that one. Yep. Cool. Um, and then what was it? Uh, ch or chime. Yeah. So I gain one sanity, so three to four. And we all move one tile. Move one tile, and I'll go here. I don't. Do you? I think it's all other characters move one. Or yes, it just says all. Then move everyone one oh, tile. Oh, there you go. Boom. <clears throat> going to what happens if I move into an? I don't want to move into an open uh, into a new area, so I'm gonna go there. Yeah. I'll go into the organ room. Uh, there's no door. No. Oh. You wanna go here? Or, yeah, sure. Or, 
All right. Now, where would you like to go? So My movement is five. Um, you can go anywhere. Yeah. I'll just go in that direction. Through the organ room. All right. This there. way? Oh, there's well, no, no door. Up through the operating temp- yeah, That there way. We go. Hmm. It is the study. It is an item. All right. We'll so turn, turn it item. this way. Have an item. Hmm. Leander's Book of Scripture. I think that's one of the items. But, yeah. Oh, that's all the same. Bowels. It's all pretty. Right. I mean, it's pretty good, right? I seem yeah. To well, I carry the book of scripture. I gain one knowledge and one sanity. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's and tasty. I carry this chime since I used it. Chime is gone. And I it's good that we don't need that, so you can hold on to that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. keep those bonuses. Perfect. All right. Anything else on your turn, Sai? Um. Nah, that'd be it. All right. I guess I'll come back <laughs> out this way. All right. You get this one. I get the gallery. Jump. If the ballroom has been dis- has been discovered, place your figure on that tile and take one die of physical damage. But first, I have an event. So you pull an item. Take an item. I get a head in a jar, which is one yes. of the yeah. items. Yeah. The head one- in a jar is the something borrowed, weirdly. I can talk to the head in the jar. Um, I get to make a sanity roll. Oof. <laughs> It's almost like the game is suggesting you not talk to a head in a jar. Yeah. <laughs> um, Those will come up when we talk to it. Um, I'm going to heirloom this head in a jar. What? Okay, so what happens when you heirloom it? So when you heirloom it, you get one sanity, uh, add one to the roll. So when you roll on the thing. Okay. And I'm going to talk to this head in a jar because I'm in a bad way. And I'm about to die. And I need to gain some stuff. Oh wow! So I ne- I make a sa- I get three dice, and I really need to roll. Oh, no! This doesn't help me, sadly. <laughs> uh, wait, no, because it's heirloomed. I'll get no. It adds one, but it only helps with attacks. It would add dice to my attack. So, mm. um, wow! How do I not die? Uh, we hopefully discover. Two events and succeed. No, because you I'm got to make the knowledge roll. You have to. Tr- oh yeah, you have I'm to. gonna try and make the knowledge roll. Okay. Three. Doesn't I'm. Redo it. Redo oh, it. Oh wait. On your turn, you may add one to the result. On. Are there any ghosts in here? No. Nope. Oh damn it. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll. Damn it. Oh, see what you people make me do. <laughs> <laughs> really don't want to do this. Look at all those stickers. There must be something else that those stickers are used for. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna uh, go here. Please, 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 please. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice max Move that damage. Right. Max damage. <laughs> okay. Now you, however, you do. What does that card say? Uh, jump, so it's an action I could take. Oh, okay, good. I could jump Ooh. to the ballroom. So I, th- I thought you had to do that. No. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, as of my first action, I'm going to drop. Crossbow, all crossbow. right. Crossbow, so that's two. Uh, well, so I have movement of three. I really can't get much of anywhere. Uh, I really need somebody to knock that down or I'm going to die. Knock what down? Yeah. The blood level. Not much I can really actually do here. There's nowhere I can get to outside mm-hmm. for what's three. Your, what's your speed? Three. You uh, could come here and invoke and gain a sanity at least. Three. That's the standard, like, you want to roll one or a two. It's a sanity okay. roll. So I'll do that. Okay. What I got a five sanity, though. Oh. Well. You know what? I could roll really poorly. Roll crappy. But not too crappy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Three. No, nope, nothing happens. Many. All Are right, it? Grant, you're our only hope, Obi Wan Kenobi. You know what? I'm gonna well, go. My only hope. One, two, three. Because I get the plus one because the yeah, ghost thing. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Nice. I mean, you could just go out this door. Sure. Um, I don't That's know why. That's more impressive. I could, but I don't yeah. know why. Sadly, it's an item card, so I will be I dying. So sorry. And you get a well bucket. Woo! <sighs> Which is not one of the items we needed. Oh, wow. This will be useful for me. 
<laughs> I'm sorry you do not get this. <laughs> so we need the bloodletting fleam or the elephant gun. So what does the well bucket do? You yeah, have to you have to say um, it out loud. Rough hewn wood, nothing fancy. Drink, heal one trait, check a box, and then oh. bury this card. Oh. Yep. All right. Well. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to heal my sanity real quick. All right, so that gets buried. Yep. Check right. box. Yeah. Wow, this pen does suck. <laughs> I have uh, the Sharpie here if you want it. All right. We all take one oh. one damage. Start uh, with James. <clears throat> uh, we'll move that sanity from a four to a three. Moving mine down from green three to normal three. I'm gonna let my sanity kill me. So I'm gonna <laughs> lose right. a sanity. Very Cthulhu. And I'm gonna die. And I'm just gonna turn this over. And my fate, my fate is, I, what did I, I got diseased. Diseased to death. <laughs> All right, I am going to lose one sanity back to my original green starting five. Cool, and that's a back to two. And I'm moving my sanity, which went from two to four, down to three. And the blood moves up one. Ugh. Which means our research is going to be a lot harder now. Well, so there's an item over there yes. that we need. The, so somebody uh, needs the head to... in a jar is now sitting there. So somebody needs to go and get that and bring it to the blue bedroom. I'll get I it. Can... Okay. Whoever's got fast movement, so yeah. either of you two would be pretty decent. Well, so, it's your turn now, James. Yeah, so uh, we're going to use the secret passageway. Go yeah. straight in here. One and a two. All right, and you then get that guy. I get to choose between because of my um, map. Cool map. Um, I mean, you're not really useful, so we'll go with the pasture and get an item. All right, item card. Item card. Have a harpoon. <laughs> that was the last that is, harpoon. That is one of them. Or do we have the... We already... Well, the harpoon is the same as the violin. Right. We need the bloodletting fleam or the elephant gun. I don't even know what a fleam is. Yeah. I can never remember what it is. Yeah, so that mm. is my turn. I should have gone to the Do you have any... World. It's much safer there. This is what I have. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sai, you can explore. Can I get the head from you? Yeah. One, two, three five. to get to the head. Wait, nope, there's no Yeah, door. it's going to make more oh, yeah. sense if I'm I go. I'm red, I'm red. It's going to make more oh, sense okay. if I go for it. Yeah, I think it's, oh. yeah, if he gets it, it's faster. Yeah, and then I can just, explore the next one. You want to lap. explore? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, you get this one. I will hand it to you, and you can read it. And then hand it back. It, it just says woodshed. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> but it is an card. item card. It's, hey, it's the bloodletting blood flame. flame. Your All mind right. grows sharp, but your body pales as the toxins dribble out of you. Operate. Take two physical damage to gain one knowledge and one sanity. Oof. That's, That's not really. Yeah, it's I mean, not really I don't worth it. Need it. Um, would but you like to? Air, have you heirloom something already this game? Not in this one. But would you like to heirloom? Take one physical damage instead of two. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. Or that silver marrow spoon. <laughs> Well, you need to do it as soon as you draw it. Okay, I'll heirloom that one. Okay. Cool, we have all of it, so everybody get to the blue room now. Okay. Oh, so we have to go get it first, but yeah. yeah. Oh, so we have them all. Wrong one. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I've already <laughs> dropped these things. Oh, yeah, so those are there. I just realized we need to put put a ghost thing on your token, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll yeah. put a ghost on there. Um, so you're going to rush over there to grab it. Mm -hmm. I'm wrangling stickers. like. And then you both need to get back to the blue room. Mm-hmm. Only only one of you needs to be in the blue room with the items to take the action. But we don't need to search that stuff anymore. There is no action to take uh, to discover a cure. It's just be on the tile with all the items. So, Sai, that was your turn because you... Mm -hmm. So I draw, already dropped my item there. If I go and try and get another event card, I could yeah. reduce the damage. So I'll just keep looking. So I am going to draw Winter Bedroom, which um, does indeed have an event card. So I'll take an item. Oh, and, a and dog. the dog. And the dog. Oh, so you lose. Oh, there's the elephant gun. <laughs> you lose one die of mental damage because of the dog symbol. So okay. roll the die. Oh yeah. Is this after or before the uh, the knowledge roll? Ooh, it probably... depends on the. Oh, I'm it's, gonna it's take it. I'm That's gonna before. take it out of sanity right, right. anyway. 
two, which puts Ooh. me into the red insanity. Um, I'm going to heirloom this elephant gun. So, elephant gun. Oh, you already did the feather. Yeah, you already heirloomed. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't you bury it and get some sanity back or something? It's a, it's an item, not an event. Oh, right, Dur. Uh, anyway, so I'll read the elephant gun anyway. So the elephant gun is a weapon, firearm, a 2,000 grain slug designed to stop a charging elephant in its tracks. Attack, speed, target anyone within line of sight. Roll one additional die in your attack, then lose one might. If this your, is your heirloom, you don't you lose the might. Mm, and I can good. never heirloom this elephant gun. Um, however, I will do four to yeah. six. Boom. So it goes down by one. All right. <sighs> and Grant. Okie doke. So... One, two, three. Pick, Pick up, up your... Have a head in a jar. Long! <laughs> now, do I want to discover something and hope that I can bring that down to zero? Uh, don't worry I about it. I think you it. try Just and like get, get back to the blue, to the blue bedroom. Because well, mm -hmm. I only got one movement left. Gets you one yes. closer. What's your movement? true. Well, technically I can make two because I can also use my where... Um, I have a speed of four. I use three. Before I move my other thing, I'm going to use where... Which, you know, veil moves me one. Right. Then I'll use my last movement, too. Yeah, and then you'll get there next turn, yeah. All right, first, that is the end of Grant's turn. Mm -hmm. It is disease. Everybody takes disease. one Start point of again. damage. Starting with James. Um, we're going to uh, we'll finally do the knowledge uh, five to four. My speed from five to four green. My uh, my speed, now I'll die from speed this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my knowledge goes from my green four to a three. Four. Speed kills. My sanity goes from a three to a <laughs> three. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, well, I'm going to try and make sure, and that goes up by one, yep. and then we'll continue going so we can... Only one of you needs to be in the bedroom with yeah. the stuff, yeah. So... And you have two of the items, right, Grant? I know that you have got one, one of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll go with... Uh, Oh, wait, they're both events, so let's go with this one. Yeah, Secret Passage might be better. Secret mm -hmm. Passage! Put that there. All right, you get an item. That is the crawl space. Have a bone saw. Bone saw! And you can roll to bring that thing down oh, again. Oh, it hurts so much. Um, yeah, target anyone on your tile. If you deal at least two damage, you may steal an item, omen, or object in addition to stealing damage. I cannot heirloom because of my <laughs> map. But I shall... Oh, wait, no, what am I doing? <laughs> well, to do, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I can get another bone saw elsewhere. And it's uh, bury and gain two in any trait. So we will re or remove knowledge. Okay, and now you can two. make the knowledge roll. So four, to, back up to f five. Nice. Four enough, we're looking for. Very dramatic. Okay. There it is. Ooh. Bam. So that blood goes down one. We've done a good job of managing that. Yes. All right, Sai, it's your turn. Hmm. Quickly to the blue bedroom. You need bedroom. to get to the blue bedroom. My speed is four, so as fast as it can take me. Well, can we use secret passages in it? Oh, wait a minute. What about this? Going uh, down one. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, Wait, no. there's no door there's there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom. However, I have another I idea. Strong, baby. Uh, you take my veil. You can get an additional two by using the space from that ghost to move you to three. Okay. Here's the veil. Take the veil. If, where the heck is it? Oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Wear it. Thank move you. Move that to you to the soundproofed room and then use your last movement to get in the blue bedroom. Yep. All right. Yep. You just talked a normal volume in the soundproof room. <laughs> that's, I believe Thank that's you. an instant loss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's reason of death. <laughs> whisper in soundproof. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll Why do you me. need to whisper in the soundproof room? It's soundproof. We can't hear you. That's it's. We can only hear your voice. Yeah, so that is not my. It's not all. Like it's a, not a great soundproof room. It's only <laughs> mostly sound. It's kind of like the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whisper room. All right, Thomas. Uh, do, does can she do that action? Yeah, can I do it now? Sure, you can just drop it. Although, yeah, actually, yeah, you should totally not. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it. Wait, do you have both the items that are needed? 
I have the bloodletting flame, and then the other two are dropped in there. Oh, okay. So you don't have enough. Yeah, you don't, you don't, have, you don't enough, have enough. Because you need the the head in the jar or the bearing. You need the head in the jar. Grant has. Thomas wanted to get his name on the uh, D. What is uh? What is the 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 elephant gun? Elephant gun is instead of the uh, bloodletting flame. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. Where's Grant? I can't, I got a, I got an elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you will not they, win today. The you will not take my house. <laughs> All right. Don't you uh, mean my house? <laughs> it's actually my house. <laughs> Just going to spend some time at your old friend, the hanging tree. Well, this is line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Sucks to be you. Uh, I am just going to move. That's all I can all right. do. Grant, D- um, take us home. Yeah. So, technically, I get six movement, but that doesn't matter. Yep. All right. Um, drop the head in a jar there. So, the day is saved. The doctor hands the vials of the antidote to the bridesmaid. There's enough to cure all the guests. Here's where things get crazy. Turn to Haunt 41 in the traitor's tone. Oh. We're not done. Ah! Oh, oh no. What I'm am I I'm ready doing? to kill all of you. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm further away from all of you. <laughs> oh, no. You, tur- I just, I just <coughs> saved myself from becoming the traitor. <laughs> um, do not read unless instructed to do so. We've been instructed to do so. The doctor makes her goodbyes and disappears into the blue bedroom, setting the antidote on the banister. As the door shuts, we hear a terrifying roar. One of us, probably Thomas, jumps back in a fright, knocking the vials down to the ground below. <laughs> Hopelessness sets in. All right, you're right. Probably James. Hopelessness. <laughs> Hopelessness. Watch the prologue. <laughs> Episode one, prologue. You'll see his decks roll. Hopelessness <laughs> sets in as the shattering of the glass dooms our lives. Wait! Miraculously, one unbroken vial rolls down the front steps. One chance to live. I hope I was the only one to see it. Set up. Heal all players' traits, so everyone returns to their starting. Even you? Even me. Even if they're dead. Even if it's higher? Or... Even if it's higher. Okay. Time somehow went backwards. Okay. Set the blood token to two on the numbered track. <gasps> Do I get my medical practitioner back? <laughs> <laughs> Time didn't go that far backwards. All right, the blood track is at two. Any players in the blue bedroom region place their figures on any tile on the upper floor, starting <laughs> with the player to the left of the monster card. So, James? Where's the upper floor? No, it would be side. There's, be me. there's. Oh, sorry. Side. No, no, no. The monster card right there. is here. Yeah. Oh, so. there's yeah, nothing in the upper landing. Yeah, we're all in the there... upper landing. Oh, is that anyone who's but in the blue bedroom? But it's anyone in the blue bedroom. In the blue bedroom region. Oh. So, that's, so there is only so everyone, the upper floor landing. Everyone goes to the upper floor landing. <laughs> it's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Place the antidote token on the front steps. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, let's look through a second. Thing. Crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is hilarious. Um, I also am on the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. There we go. Uh, (laughs) Return the blue bedroom tile to the box. Any tiles in its region are shuffled back into the stack. Oh, wow. All of this. (laughs) This is silly. I'm a little disappointed the blue bedroom doesn't have a TARDIS in it somewhere. Yeah. It It was the TARDIS. Yes. It's fine. My car has one. (laughs) You want to... Any tokens, including inhabitants, on those tiles are removed to be discovered again. Any items or omens on those tiles are buried. Lamb. Uh, so that means all of my stuff is gone, too. Mm-hmm. All of this gets buried. I could have picked your st- Oh, wait, no, I only could have picked up one thing. Never mind. All the omens are? No, only the ones that were on the in that mm-hmm. were sitting on the Actually, ground. the pickup. Does he pick up all the items? Nope, Just one. Pick up, uh, take as many as he wants. Oh, and I could have taken everything. Could have. Could have. Could have, should have. And now. Uh, the player to the left of the monster card is going to take the first turn. 
You win <clears throat> when you are the last player alive. Oh. <laughs> uh. Carry the antidote to cure yourself of the disease. If someone has already taken the antidote, and this seems like a great idea, drink the blood of the corpse to get the antidote. So facts. The antidote, which is here, is an object. It may only be picked up. Immediately when you pick it up, heal all your traits. Place the antidote token under your figure. It now moves with you and cannot be stolen or otherwise lost. If you are killed, leave the antidote token under your corpse. Main goal, drink the blood of the corpse. If the antidote token is under a player's corpse, you may pick up that token. Follow the same instructions as if you drank the antidote. At the end of your turn, unless you have the antidote token under your figure, take general damage equal to the number of the space where the blood token is on the track. Say that again. On your, at the end of your turn, take that much general damage. On the monster turn, Move the blood token up one space on the track. <laughs> Next, you're gonna ask me how you move that down? You don't. It's gonna be a short, bloody game. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, last player standing will win this. Oh, uh, so these, so these guys all go back in the items? Is that yep. Are they buried? Yep. I don't remember what I got from the upper. Or well, no, it's, 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 no, it's reset. only if they were on the ground. But your stats are reset, but then if you have anything that increases your stats. Oh, this sucks. Well. This mm. just sucks. James, start <laughs> killing people. <laughs> yeah. Um, or go get the antidote, one of the two. If I attack, I can still move afterwards, right? Yes. <laughs> Look well, for the people with a lot of weapons. Yeah, don't mess with strong baby. Well, I'm going to mess with Strong Baby oh! by using my Crucifix of Banishing, and we're going to fight Sanity. Oh, no. All right. So this is a roll-off. So how many dice do you have? I get four. All right. And Sanity, you get Oh, three. no. You get... Oh, I get five, because I get to roll an additional dice due to my Crucifix. He's yeah. really glad he gave you that veil now. That extra movement is going to come in handy for the mm -hmm. race for the veil. Uh, it should be noted, landings are no longer all adjacent to anything. So mm -hmm. now we're back to the normal house. We were exploring the TARDIS. Uh, let's let's put everything together because I don't think people are going to really explore that much. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself. I don't have anything. I need well, to find. I need to find weapons. <laughs> well, we know the armory is in the basement. <laughs> it's true. But is, was it only basement? I'm gonna go talk to my buddy Clarissa and see if he can get me out of here. All right, shall we roll? Ready? All right, this is a roll off. Oh! 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 Shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Strong baby rolls a six in defense. Oh Ooh, man, you four. take two points of damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. It can be knowledge as well. Oh, it can be knowledge. It's well, mental well, damage. No, sanity. Is it, I just you said sanity. sanity. Said sanity. Yeah. So yeah. is it just? Yep. It's just sanity. Okay, yep. cool. Okay. Cool. I, I, I He's assumed not it was, using that again. <laughs> so I assumed it was as long as it, when you actually receive the damage, it's either mental or, in this case. What does it say? It says sanity. It yeah, 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 if it, it just sanity. says sanity, then. Hmm. If it's All right, time mental. to run. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Grab the Pick antidote. It up. I'm guessing you're going to heal your sanity. Yep. All right. So this goes on your, put that on your uh, character sheet. So yeah, now have you to have to him. kill James to get the antidote. And uh, Strong Baby is next. <laughs> You've angered Strong Baby. One, two, three, four. Strong, and the me. best part is she can then eat your corpse. Yeah, yeah. because I have the silver <laughs> Yeah, <spoon>. that's so <laughs> messed up. <laughs> we fighting? Yes. So you've got a hammer. So your hammer, yes. attack might, target anyone on your tile, roll one additional die. So you've got a strength. Of four. four. So you were rolling five. Mm -hmm. And James, what's yeah. your strength? Uh, three, and I'm assuming my harpoon doesn't help. Nope. No, that no. is not a, it's not a defense item. Boy, if only you had a burial mask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a tie. It's a tie. Beat me, strong baby. <laughs> oh, she did it the last one. I did. <laughs> um, 
So nothing happens. I'm gonna explore. Send me that way. <laughs> this way. Yeah, I need items. So now we're in the normal upper floor or basement, so maybe it Armory? is the organ room. Oh, but a secret passage. There's an event and a uh, secret passage. So events are back to normal as well. Okay. Mm. Event. Wolf. Oh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that? Interesting. Is that upper landing? I have, oh, no, it's not. Thank you. Wow. No right. wolf for you. Yeah. I'm, well, thank goodness. <laughs> Watch it be upper floor. Whispers. You hear someone whispering in a tongue you can't recognize. Make a knowledge roll. So I get four. Five. Four and up. I chant with it and feel myself growing stronger. Gain one in any trait. Oh, speeder might. Speeder might. Speeder might. I'm going to gain one in... Sent German for Spider-Man. <laughs> speed of might, speed of might. I'm going to gain one in... Uh... Speed of might. Speed of might. <laughs> Actually, that would be Spinner. The Spinner Spider. Spinnemon. But I'm guessing they just call him Spider-Man. All right, I have... The whispers have made me faster. I have a quick question. Aren't you guys supposed to take Amy's after the end of your turn? Oh. Hey, yes. Oh, that's that was right. at the end of the round. No, at no. the end of okay. your turn. Thank you, oh, Amy. Okay. Our, our producer's on top of it all. So, on your turn, yes. you took two points. Uh, we will, let's see. Oh, yeah, you took two points. Yeah. Antidote so, does not help you not take the damage. Yes. I will take two in knowledge, so five, two, four. Okay, I will take one in might and one in knowledge. So I do not yet, well, I now have that speed. Oh, God. I'm going to take one in knowledge and one in sanity. All right, Thomas, your turn. Well, that changes things, <laughs> for sure. Because <laughs> um, I really wanted to call a truce, and let's just explore the house. But we're going to... Uh, we're all going to die. We all need to get that antidote. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm going to go downstairs for one, two, three. I'm going to explore. <laughs> <laughs> Ground floor, it is the kitchen, and there's an omen. Do I get the omen? Ooh. Uh-oh. So I do get <clears throat> the omen, yes? Yeah, yes. Uh, yes, we've got an omen. All right, it is the hand mirror of corruption. Ooh, I did. It shows its own images rather than reflecting. You feel like you could pass through the mirror, or reach through it, or see the future, perhaps. Study, roll dice equal to the number of ghosts on your tile. Not going to do that. Uh, ooh, that's not bad. This is some good stuff, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, instead, what's on this tile for me to do? Um, eat. Make a might roll. I will do that. And then, and then I will figure out what happens. <laughs> it's the standard. You want to roll a... Zero, roll zero, a one, zero. One, one, one. Oh, uh, my goodness. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm Don't know your own strength. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, now you take two points of damage. No. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> It'll take two insanity down to critical. All right, great. Well, actually, no, no, uh, no, no, no. I lied. Two down in knowledge to critical. Who needs to think? <laughs> uh, so after Grant's turn, Goes it up ramps up to three points of damage. Let me see. After Grant's turn, one, two, three, four. Fight! Yeah. Fight! Fight! I'm fight, gonna shoot fight. James. All right, here comes the flintlock pistol. And I need two more die, please. Okay. And now this is, is this, what is the attack here? So it's attack with speed. All right, so I think this is still, J J James, you still roll. Yeah. So what's your speed? Oh, uh, four, so I'll wait for you. Yeah. Wow, I wish I saw that was speed, not might. <laughs> um, screw it, still one more. Three. Four. Four. Am I allowed to re-roll after he rolls? No. No. <laughs> Did you put your sticker on there already? On the helm? I don't I did not. think you've done, you could You do could re-roll re that. Probably a terrible idea. Yeah. You could uh, complete something, which is going to give you, you know, I have a benefit. An I have an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Is this a new haunt? Is this a new game? No, no. For the helm? No, no, it is not. All right. I don't think so. You know what? Oh, man. Because if I get a speed boost, that's going to be awesome. I think someone already got that. But at the same time, I need to live, so... Do it. Yeah, <laughs> screw it. Let's do it. All right. I know We're just gonna get this. No, right. no, 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 no. I'm just gonna stick with it. All right. Okay, he's sticking with his four. Yeah, he's got cool. a four. 
Undead Viking's gonna kill us all. Mm -hmm. It's good. The game. Hey, it just says light hand. the game on fire. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh. That is two points of physical damage. Three. Three. three points of physical damage. One, two, so three might down to two, critical speed down to three. All right. Now, Ooh. Grant, you take two points of damage from the uh, track. From the track. I'm trying to remember what this is. Oh, it's the disease. It's the disease because you got to drink the antidote yeah. or the blood of the antidote. Um, also, and then, I'm not quite done yet. Okay. Wait, do I take damage if I've drank it? If it's in my body? So let me see, that was one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move one is it? more. Nope, unless you have the antidote token. Oh, All right. so, so you will not take damage. So I didn't take that first two. No, he did that not. That's true, you did not. Mm. Which was light, I believe. Or knowledge. No, I took two knowledge, so. Okay. So before I end my turn, oh, I'm, man. Gonna, I'm gonna So my knowledge drink. is back up to okay. five. Because so, so those that's... of you who commented 10 minutes ago, <laughs> <laughs> we did manage to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it all works out. Yes. There you go. That is an extra speed. Sweet. Nice. Man, why didn't I? Oh, I couldn't. Have, I could have done that first. Ah. All right. <laughs> all right. And now it's up to three points of damage at the end of your turn, yep. except for James, because he's getting any. Okay, so we need to all need to gang up and kill James. I'm on yes. board. Yep. Uh, well, I see. I see how this is gonna dwindle quickly. <laughs> Let us fight. Well, good news. Sorry, baby. Good um, news. I took away his might. Uh, is. Yeah. Well, I don't care because I got the crucifix of banishing. Yeah, he's a sanity. Fan. Um, also, before I shall also mention where I lower my stats from, I lower my knowledge from green three to critical three. All right, cool. So uh, because there's two ghosts on here, I'm rolling six. Oh, I just want some items. You people with all these weapons. I know. Hmm. Oh, 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 dear. That's oh. An, that's a... oh, that is ten. Ten. Ouch. Can you oh, survive? Strong baby, not think good. <laughs> <laughs> strong baby, stupid. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Can you survive four point? The minimum of four. You can survive four points of damage. So roll a six is really. <laughs> God, I have nothing that'll help me. Yeah. What is the book? That of... phylactery of healing on your turn, you can drink from it. Yeah. But you know that means you have to get to your turn. <laughs> All right, that's seven. What are your total? Let's see, your total. One, one two, three, four, five. Well, it would be, six, yeah, it seven. would be mental. Yeah, you can do, mental. you can make it. It's just. Oh. Well, no, it'd be mental. Oh, that's yeah, right. It's yeah. only yeah. mental. I'm dead. All right, strong baby is down. Uh, You know what? Eldritch. We need a ghost on that. There are, it is full. Okay. No more. No, ghosts. there is, there's one more. Oh, there is one more. That is very So scary. did also, you put a ghost on I your time. I put a ghost tile. on the, uh, okay. the, the one in the. And also, all your items are dropped there. Mm -hmm. What? There's items? <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do okay. is. Okay. All I have to do is run like hell. Yep. One, two, three, four. Hey, my speed is five. So I can take one of each action per turn? Mm -hmm. So you could pick up her stuff. Yep. You can pick it all up. Yeah. I'm going to take this. <laughs> oh, no. He's become a god. <laughs> <laughs> And we're gonna take this, and we're gonna take this. Uh, how many items can I hold? Oh, interesting question. I thought it was unlimited. I, but no, I do think there is a limit. Oh I no. I don't remember what it is. I don't is. remember ever reading that. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. Items, items. If there is a limit, I know it's large, but. You can only have one item. <laughs> if you have the energy. Enjoy it. <laughs> Two states, unused, actions, item. I was trying to remember if there was something about how you can only have one item that does every action, but... No, yeah, you can no, only think, use, use... Yeah, you can only take each action once. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, okay. there is no limit on items. All right. Cool. Um, Do I need a hammer? And do I need a spoon? You had a hammer. My family has pledged death to the K family. <laughs> <laughs> Killed you last time, too. Um, My point. <laughs> let's see. Bury this card while on the tile with a corpse. And you heal, so that'll... I will take that. Oh, no. I'm you taking can... everything. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to oh, no. eat... Oh, no, 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 I'm no, going no, to no. eat strong baby. <laughs> <laughs> you heal one trait by eating strong baby. Um, so my... Uh, we'll bump up my might up to three, back You're into the green. Or that, you welcome. Person. That sucks. <laughs> 
So That's we've eaten <laughs> strong baby. Um, I will use the apothecary kit of healing. And since there are three ghosts on my tile, I'll roll three dice. I hope you get a zero. Oh man. So one thing uh, I just thought, <laughs> if you go to a tile where there, you would get an omen card, but there are no omens, you don't lose your moves. Oh, okay. So you can continue. I would have won this game, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't win this game. Three? Uh, heal one trait, lose one from a different trait. Um, I will heal my speed up to four, and then lose one in knowledge down to four. Well, fudge. Uh, <laughs> use yeah, the not... wedding veil of disease to move. To move. One, two. Oh, no, and you can't discover a new tile. Cannot discover a new tile. Oh, can't. Okay. okay. Uh, he just wants to hide. <laughs> Go to the caves. I hear they're lovely. Um, and then with also with the book of scripture, um, I will or my knowledge goes up by one and my sanity goes up by one. Because when you carry it, wah, 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 wah. knowledge and sanity attacks deal mental damage. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then I have a hammer. I think cool. we're gonna, we'll keep the ruling that we had, but we'll play it right moving forward. Although you, you couldn't take seven either way, right? Mm -mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. But um, it's not just sanity. Okay. It's mental. Um, cool. What is the undiscovered caverns or whatever? Underground, underground caverns, you say. Can, uh, you can go to the pond. Oh, that's... I don't want to. <laughs> All right. <sighs> uh, I'm going to continue exploring the upper room, so I'm going to go that the upper floor. I'm going to stay away from you psychos. So I'm going to read this for you. All it right. is the operating theater. Can I operate it on It is uh, an item. <laughs> oh, good. Please be, I don't know, bomb. I need do, a bomb. Do you want to go uh, towards me or back in? Uh, I'll go towards, sure. That's Go back in. Oh, it's a baker rifle. Ooh. Uh, oh, look, it's got the Burn family uh, sticker on it there. <laughs> what does that do? Uh, I can target anyone in my line of sight. So I need to find a window from the upper landing. <laughs> <laughs> Into the caves. I'm a sniper. Uh, that will be my turn. And I'm very happy with that turn. Oh, All wait. Right. I take three points of damage. Oh, yeah. That I'm less happy about. I'm so, going to take one might, which will take my might down to four. I'm going to take two speed, which takes my speed down to three. I'd like to find a... Um, you cannot operate on yourself, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. So unfortunate. All right. <laughs> All right. I am going to go one, two, three to the front porch, All and right. then I am going to harpoon. Uh, oh, elephant gun. I'm going to study. Well, that seems very unaggressive. <laughs> oh wait, actually. Uh, no, no wait. No, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Can you technically steal the? No, I mean. I'm just going to do this because I can. Four. Uh, drop the hand mirror on your tile and place your figure on any discovered tile. Yep. So the hand mirror. <laughs> Which is going to be this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to use gun. the elephant gun. And I'm, so I get four, and I'm going to lose a might after this. And now this is an unopposed attack because... Mm -hmm. Is it? Well, what does it say on No, it says, uh, oh, attack speed. Yeah. Ooh, which is four. Oh, so actually I get five dice. Okay. And then, yeah. James, you will get to roll. Oh, yeah. I do get to roll. Yeah. Come on, Max. Come on, ten. Well, that's not bad. Six. Six. Sure. Six. Uh, I'm going to bury the book of scripture and not take that damage. Oh, my. Well, shouldn't you yeah. roll first? See it doesn't if you don't. have to with the scripture book. Well, you carry the book of scripture... You may bury the, yeah, to avoid all damage taken from a firearm. Okay, now do you... But you do lose the one knowledge and sanity yes. that it gave you. Okay. Alrighty. And I took one might damage for using the elephant gun. All right, and now you take three points of damage because you're diseased. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Couple of sanity, so down to four critical and... Uh, Can I survive another round? I can't. I have one more round in me. And a couple of speed down to two critical. Freaking House K is going to be on there again. Oh, yeah. Right. House K is running. Turn. Your turn. All right. because oh, Grant. my word. I can move a lot. 
<laughs> I can move up to eight spaces. Wow. <laughs> so first one, two, he's considered an obstacle, right? Yes. No? Okay, yes, so we are all considered three, three four. So. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you with my flintlock pistol. <laughs> okay. I need seven die. Woo, that's a lot of dice. You better hope I don't have to re-roll. Oh. That's four. I'm gonna re-roll that. Damn it. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. Do you, would you like to complete a line? Yes, I do. Because it gives you massive bumps. Well, I mean, so far. It's all been good. We just It's all good. Nothing bad comes from that thing. <laughs> Until Nothing, Nothing bad, bad. bad. Those are famous last words. All right. We're now looking at entry 67. I wonder if it's going to be if you don't have your sticker on one of the bottom ones. You were not. You never helped bring a, bring forth this Viking. <laughs> yeah. So it's you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> so you really want to complete these. Otherwise, the Viking will not like you. The Helm of Awe is not the source of power, but it does protect me. The runes were etched into my skin by my own hand. The Godar do not know how to thwart its power, so they cut it off. But it is still part of me. Those who touch it bind themselves to me. I can control them and bend them to my will. Oh, damn it. You know, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna, like, it's who's on there the least is something. You gain four might. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that is up to the top six. <laughs> yes, it is. Ouch. All right, you're going you're gonna to roll? Yep, Ouch. I'm going to. He now just wants to punch you. Right? <laughs> You've got a hammer. I do, but this is a speed roll. Oh, yeah. Much Ooh, better. That's eight. <sighs> okay. Seven. Eight. Oh, you're right. Eight. I didn't. That one looked like a one to me for some reason. Is there anything I can do? I don't say. No, no. no nope. Very few items are defensive. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five. All right. So wow, you're only taking three points. So uh, of well, physical damage. Of physical damage. So I'll drop down to the red in might, and drop down one in speed. All right. To three. To three. Um. Grant, you're going to take three points of damage. I'm not quite done yet. All right. I'm going to run oh, back other here. Way. Other way. Other one. Other one. <laughs> run back there. So that was, what was that? One. You've got one, eight. You're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Yep. Screw it. Why not? Drink from the creek. This won't go well, but. <laughs> well, the worst that happens is you stop moving. Yeah. And you stop moving. Okay. Um, nice. You take three points of damage. And then it moves up to four points of damage every round. And I cannot... S one, two, three... I can just barely take four I, points of damage. I took four points. Then take one back. I will take one back. Amy's going to know if you're cheating. Yeah. It's not going to matter. I'm still going to be All right. <laughs> All right, James. You take no damage mm -hmm. because of that stupid antidote that we can't pry out of your cold, dead hands. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's start by. You could put Thomas out of our misery. Yeah, you could. We'll, we'll start with Thomas. <laughs> we'll start <laughs> with Thomas. And uh, let's see what <laughs> can I beat you in anything? Uh, if you hit me with mental stuff, I can't take any more. Uh, yeah, I, my you brain is cross. full. Yeah, because if I do any physical stuff, it's going to be kind of pathetic. <laughs> uh, like if I hit you with the hammer, you would. I would probably hurt myself. Um, <laughs> just bounce off my tough skin. <laughs> <laughs> and just die. So we're going to have to go for the crucifix. Again. Okay. Whoever uh, said religion was a... Uh, so, sanity attack. Was yes. it? <laughs> so you roll five because you get an additional... Yeah, I'm not... I mean, you start off with a four. That's pretty... Yeah. That's very solid. That's five. Five. All right. Take one of your zeros to. <laughs> oh, that's I a one. Kill Thomas. That is a. Let's see. I will take one insanity, which kills me. <laughs> <laughs> one in knowledge that kills me as well. Welcome to the land of the dead. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just gonna put a go another ghost in the underground cavern. Cool. Oh, Where I they belong. Really how uh, how is it not in the entrance hall? That's a. 
There's too many ghosts in the entrance. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's too scary to Nobody be. Nobody goes there. Oh, well, let's see. How did you uh, stabbed with a crucifix? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> of banishing. Yeah, You've been you were, banished. Uh, the power of Christ um, compelled you to die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my speed is three. And that was after you moved one, right? Yeah, you've already moved one. Yeah. One, two. It no longer counts as an obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You could eat his body. I already used the spoon. Oh, okay. I'm eating a baby. <laughs> the flesh was much more tender. You yes. monster! <laughs> it's like veal versus... Um, and then we'll use the apothecary kit of healing. Oh, dear. You've got three skulls here. Three. Heal one trait, lose one in a different one. We'll lose one in our knowledge. Because really, what is knowledge good for anyway? And then we'll move up one in speed, because I know you're coming for me. Yep. Oh. Um, what is it good for? <laughs> uh, so that's one, two. Could make a roll for that speed. God, I have one more. I can survive one more round, but the problem is rounds are very short Three. now. Mm -hmm. So now you've already attacked. So yeah. you can't attack But anymore. I will go for the healing. Okay. Or the, the, the drinking. Okay. The drinking. Let's see if this bites. Wait, hold on. Is drink the is apothecary. Apothecary is also oh, a drink. Oh, is a drink? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so one, two, you could go apothecary. Into the hall. Uh, wear the uh, veil to do one, two, three. All right, and now you can eat. And that is a might roll. That's a might so, roll. Oh, yeah, that one's probably going to be in so your favor. Yeah. No, Three, no, no, you lose it all. You lose, lose your movements. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you do not take any damage. Nope. This would be a good time for you to get Jimmy that antidote. Christmas. Yeah, the problem is I'm <clears throat> terrible at everything. Speed, I mean, might is better than speed, ironically. I mean, yeah, I mean, without going on the attack, you've got no way of winning. So let's see. I can use the secret passage to get to the porch. One, two, two three. three, and then I can attack because I have line of sight no, shooting. No, because that's a wall. No, this this is adjacent to the Oh wait, porch. that's a wall. Oh, I can't go in there. Oh, no, yeah, okay, yeah, now we're good. Right, you we're did good. the right way. I did the yeah, right way. Yeah, you're right, I can't get a shot at him. So okay. let's see, one. Wait, actually, if you explore that and you get a connecting room, you will be able to shoot him. There you go, I like it. Ground floor. Oh, I see. Hit me with a ground floor. Whom. Pat Benatar's new single. <laughs> <laughs> the Look at that. It's the parlor. And you're at an event. First I get an event, which is unfortunate, probably. <laughs> Ground floor. You die. <laughs> <laughs> event. Why are you playing this game? <laughs> hey, remember those pills? Hey. A couple of pills, along with a doctor's note that reads, for your health. Choose any player, including yourself. That player gains sanity equal to the number of check boxes above. Well, since it says including yourself, I'm going to include myself. And how many check boxes? One. And I do not check another box on there. Okay. So I gain one sanity. Oh, okay. you don't have to check them? Nope. Oh, wow. It'd be helpful. Well, it's better if you check. I mean, and then I'm going to take a shot at you. This is a speed attack, so I only roll three dice. Duh, what does your gun give you? It lets me attack from far away. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. Did the element gun specifically say that they roll as well? I mean, that's just how it works. Yeah. That's how attacking works. Because you're right. It does. Well, I guess the line of sight thing is the benefit of this. Okay. Right. Two. It's a speed attack. Oh, fudge. It's not like you're going to get hurt. It's just me protecting myself. Right? Mm, no, Since I get, don't have a... Get, he can get her too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Look. If yours is higher. I mean, I'll just uh, double check on attacking. Five. Oh. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Kill. I just shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> attack. Items and omens marked as weapons give alternative attack actions. Attack may use a trait using the same. You can't use a trait to attack a mode and doesn't have that trait. Line of sight. There's no line of sight. Players can make line of sight. If, if your target is on a different tile's yours, you take no damage if you lose the combat. Mm -hmm. All right, so I don't take any damage, but now I'm going to take damage. 
Now I take four points of damage, so my knowledge goes down one to the red, my might goes down one to the red, my sanity goes down one to three, and my speed goes down one to three. And I cannot survive another round. So that would be my turn then? Yep. Yeah. Wait. Thomas. I thought that was all mental damage. No, it's general damage. Oh. The disease is all general damage. Oh. I would not be dead. <laughs> all right. Oh, well. Great. I'm dead. <laughs> all right, so I get... S no, you died because of his attack. I get Oh, eight. that's right. Yeah. I yeah, get yeah. eight movements, so right. one, two, three. Shoot me. And now yes, I am. Not... The question is, do I want to bash you in the face or shoot you? Because that would be a 5v2 versus 7v4. Is this what you're using? Well, I could just go up and punch him in the face. Yeah. Because technically speaking, with the seven, I get more op I get better opportunities, but, but if, so do you. Yeah, but if you do mess up, I can kill you. Yeah. So you definitely yeah. want to shoot from an adjacent tile. Yeah. Oh, six. Wow. Six. Very okay, nice. that's workable. I need to roll four. Okay. So my four goes down to red two. All right. All right, Critical. and you take no damage um, from the. Oh, you take four. I'm not quite done yet. Okay. Um, where did you die, and where'd you leave that mirror thing? Out there. Mirror is on oh. the front steps. No, nope, it's in the underground. Oh, the mirror's in the underground. No, you dropped it first. Am you I technically it. allowed to? Steal oh, that's the right. I did. No, wait. I it's can't. It's just on the ground. I can't steal the antidote from him. Never that mind. That is correct. The antidote cannot be. It's in my body. You gotta eat him. You, you have to drink body? his blood. <laughs> hmm. I mean, why can't I just be like, hey, have some of my blood, and then we could all just like get along happily, but no, we gotta kill him. It's not that kind of game, James. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one. Why can't we just like make flowers? You know what? Crowns? Give it to me. Fine. I'll... <laughs> I don't wanna drink your so blood. So let me see. That was... Are you sure? I don't know what you're One, two, three, four, five, six. That oh, bites screw it. Why not? on the insides. Good. <laughs> Trying it again? Corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Screw it, why not? All right, and that'll end your turn. You take four points of damage. Goo. I think Grant's going to win this one because I can't physically... Oh, no, I can get him. I can get you him. just run away, Yeah, too. you just want to run away. That's your whole... Well, thing. no, he's going to catch me. Is well, the thing. Uh... He's got a speed of six, which is well, crazy. Well, not, not... Oh, yeah. Technically, more if I have ghost spaces. So, yeah, that's right. so he dropped you his don't have the ghost space sanity have down to three, one above critical, and his might down to three, oh, one rage? below oh. green. Okay, there you are. All right, James, it's your turn. I think I'm going to have to kill Grant. I I wholeheartedly support that move. How can you? Well, I can get to here and use the veil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then the crucifix comes out. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to use apothecary hit, hit of healing. Come on, baby. Four. Uh, Heal one trait, lose one in another. Um, we're gonna get that. Uh, gonna get that speed back up. And one, only one. Oh wait. No, no he healed the trait. Ah! Yeah. So oh! we're gonna move that back to two to four, and then lose another knowledge. Maybe I want to steal that apothecary from you. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That'd be a good um, idea. And then I'm gonna wear the veil. One, two, and uh, I'm gonna have to crucifix you. Gonna I'm forced. No time for me to die. A three. You're Let's still probably gonna kick my butt, though. Respectable. Six. You jerk. Oh, that's just the number he needed. All right, so uh, what's her name, Byrne? Uh, Jesse. Jesse. Mm -hmm. Jesse Byrne dies there. There's a large pile of items. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna add... Fate nailed to the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Slide them all over to you. <laughs> Just gonna take... The last station of the cross. <laughs> or nailed by the cross, not I say. You have been not banished. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's ready for donuts? <laughs> right. I'm ready for donuts. Oh, God. I... All right. Oh, God, can I kill him? Can Just I... so you know, if you try and shoot me, I can try and shoot you now. Seems fair. 
Uh, just so you know, the disease a, is gonna kill him before. Yeah, uh, I, I have so many for larger problems. <laughs> like, I, it's not even worth it to me to heal, and I can't actually get to you because I only have a movement of three. One, two. Oh yeah. Oh dear. So close. Boop. Boop. Bang. All right, we're going at it. And because uh, I have a gun, I can also shoot back, right? No, no. Or that'll no. be that's an okay. attack. So yep. I get three dice, a sad, sad three dice. But he only gets, is it a speed attack? Do yeah. I, oh, I get plus one because I'm on a thing with ghosts and I'm an occultist. Oh. Do you, so, need, do you need the plus one? No, it's one, add oh, okay. one to the result. Gotcha. So that's four. Please die. Please die. Avenge me. Nope. Oh. Five. All right, and then I succumb to the disease. So you win. Uh. <laughs> I take four points, so I, I can't, let's see, one. One. It's, nope, uh, I die. I mean, it's it's when you hit any skull, you die, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I was seeing if I could spread it out. <sighs> yeah. All right. So, when you win during the campaign, turn to entry one hundred three in the Bleak Journal. I'm sorry. What is it? It's the Bleak Journal. The Bleak Journal. <laughs> the Bleak Journal. You have to say it right. His presence is everywhere now. A great darkness on the house. That's James, driving <laughs> all who set foot inside mad. Even when we band together, we cannot focus on the task at hand. Well, that that uh, if you've watched Quest and Chaos, that pretty much yes. describes it. <laughs> the second, Tell me about these donuts. <laughs> the second lock is about to break. None can resist his call. None will escape without his corruption infesting them. We are doomed. The winner... <laughs> no, that's, that's, a, that's a loose term. <laughs> The places, survivor places their crest on the deed. That's fine. I still have three. He's tied you now. Uh, no. One less. Okay. That got a bit gruesome, didn't it? Perhaps I should keep an eye on this time stream. Intensify for your health. Hmm. So it is. So now it's Hurst. two points of sanity. Years later, when the last survivor of the wedding plague died. Their blood seeped into the ground and could not be removed. We add puddle of blood to the deck, which sounds lovely. Sounds like a tile we have. Actually, it sounds like we ha already well, have you it. You know, we have puddle of blood already, yep. so that's already in there. They murdered each other. I will have to adjust a few things in the time stream. Yes, yes, seems right. Add doctor's visit to the, uh, to hmm. the deck. 254 Doctor's Visit is an event. The presence of that mysterious helper inspired some to study the ways of investigation. So we add number 230. We have a new calling, Investigator. Once during your turn, you may treat an event tile as if it didn't have an event symbol. Hmm. That's interesting. interesting. Uh, and there will be some cards that will not be showing up in our story removed from the Purgatory deck. We'll deal with those. So this was like, this felt like three games in one. Yeah, exactly. Kind of. mm -hmm. uh, um, I really like that twist of now there's no traitor, now you're all traitors. That was fun, yeah. that that uh, that jump. I was not well prepared for it being dead, though. Yeah. On top, I can make sure I say no slash yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing to point out is if you could hold up that helm, uh, there are only four spaces left. And there are five players. So I have a feeling that whatever is going to come through that helm is coming through on Very the next sick. episode. Coming up next on Quests and Chaos, Undead Viking Gods. <laughs> it's not going to be good for any of us. I uh, believe Eric someday. Any, any, uh, that was a, I thought that was really cool, the twist with that. Uh, uh, it was a very different, uh, a very different one. I think that's going to do it for us. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you thought about this adventure. You can uh, find us on, you leave a YouTube comment, leave any social media comments, Quests and Chaos. Thanks so much for liking and subscribing. Uh, and we're going to, I think we're going to play another one because we're having so much fun. So we'll be back with episode nine. Seven, seven, eight, eight. It'll be episode nine, chapter eight. God, that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back with chapter eight uh, in next in the next period, whenever that is, <laughs> as soon as our great yep. crack production staff can uh, deal with all of the numbers we've given them. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. It's donut time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Oh.